Catch that? Yeah. That's why you don't cut no more. Hey everybody. All right, uh, pretty much got stuff uploaded. It's 10.15, not bad. 10.15, now I'm going to chop down big trees and buck them into firewood with some great big power saws. I gotta go grind some chain because it's uh, pretty clean wood. I'm gonna fall them and buck them. And uh, there's a couple, of, there's actually one, well it's actually, it's tight, it's tight works. It's tight falling. It'll be good actually, it'll be good footage. I'll catch you guys down there. Hey friends. So it's actually a, a great day for falling because it's, uh, it's calm, very, very calm. Okay. So you'd be amazed, friends, on a ground chain, not hand file, ground chain, okay? When you when you fresh grind a chain, it it's scary. Like it is you probably won't see it, but you might. Like like it it's mean. Like I don't know if you can see that. You might be able to. I'm just under, I got a little teeny side beak on that tooth, and I'm okay with a little side beak, but you don't want a top beak. A top beak will just ruin your cut terribly. So, so this is the process. I'll just hold you in here and you can kind of watch. Okay, so, and you get this. I mean, it's... It's freaking mean. <laughs> no. Over and out. Okay. It's, it's 11 o'clock. It starts getting to be... I think that upload's probably ready now. Let's have a look. I'm gonna keep that fire going too. It's cold here. Oh yeah, she's ready. There it is. Processing done. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the... <laughs> He's got the rock and roll going. That's funny. Okay, let me get this straightened out and I'll ship this off to you. It's 11 o'clock and I'm hitting my upload, friends. I hope you enjoy. Be kind. Sacks. And I brought a couple interesting power parts today. And I've also got this cool thing that uh, Billy brought, and it's on it right now, and it looks wicked. It's a little stand, a little tripod stand from a GoPro. I love it, friends. Take it easy, Bethany. Okay, so we got a fresh grind on this thing. 
<clears throat> we're gonna do uh, we got some big timber to put down here big timber boys and girls big big timber strap up your strap up sit down buckle up tight there CJ and timber you still watching over there hey Liz Izzy Izzy are you still watching with your dad I hope so let's take these axes and this thing over here I got my old metallic gas jug today too let's go get it we're going to try the 394 and we're going to see because I got to be spot on with the fallen. So I'm going to use the 394 because its sights are bang on. So, so is the Makala, but I just, when I'm, when I got tight quarters, I like to use uh, the newer power saws. It's just part of my mindset. That's all. But here's your, here's your, here's your, your thing here. You see, and this will be interesting. Let's see. Oh, look at that stand. It works just beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey. Look at this, friends. Now, this might be a good thing. I don't know if this is going to work like that. Does it work like that? Oh, yeah. Not bad. A little lean on her, eh? Yeah. Good. What happens here? What does this do? Oh, oh well, for, for heaven's sakes. For heavens to Betsy's sakes. And, oh, dear Lord. That works wicked, friends. Oh, but did I bring oil? Yeah, I did. Yeah, because it, it does. I'm used to a two-in-one, you see? Friends? I'm used to I'm used to the two in one setup, you see. Now now this this power saw I'm afraid is gonna cut um quite scarily, I would reckon. It uh Yeah, it's sharp. Now I didn't do nothing to the rakers. You you gotta see this, friends. I gotta show you this. Look at like, can you see this? Look closely. It's just, I saw it in the light and it just looks spectacular right there. Can you see that? Oh, can, can, can you? Oh yeah. I'll see you over by the trees that are going to go fall down. Bang, boom. All right, come over here. Let's visit the cows. Let's show YouTube, my friends. The oh my goodness. You don't like the being on the film? <laughs> so they just, they just come up to you, eh? To get close to you, yeah. Really? It's easy to pat in some of the other, you know, because she was born here, so. I've handled her the whole life. And she sees, they see you. Yeah. You know. So so they come up to you slow, get why, closer. Why is she not going away? Right. So then she comes, they come over, and then they give them. Yeah. And they like that, <laughs> don't they? He's a big animal. I mean, he's a big beast. This 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 guy's a big beast. Adonis. Adonis, yes, oh yes. Look at that monster. Adonis is a big man, aren't you, Adonis? Look at, hi, bud. Hey, Adonis. See, want to bite of this? Yeah, you're a big man. Hey, what's happening, bud? What's happening, Adonis? So here's our here's our situation. It's balsam, friends. I was just at remember um remember Duker. How you doing, Duker? And, and his lovely wife. Gosh, those people are such nice folks. Hey, they really are. But we were down there. He's told me, he told me that they cut every balsam down on their property down there, down by Leslie's there. Hi, Leslie, and Mike. Um, do you know what I mean? It, it was it was like <laughs> right in the poop there's a lot of poop around here so um the balsams we're just we're, we're losing them friends we're just we're losing them i i don't you know sure people are calling it drought i i, I don't know i i really don't know every balsam i see has got bug in it now you know look at them all you'll see sawdust all over the place here i'll bet yeah there you go See, there, there's a little bit of sawdust everywhere right there. Now, they bore in. Hey, that's what they do. They'll bore in. But I got to get my axe at this thing because uh, of nails and stuff. So I just want to give it a quick go where I'm going to actually cut it. Because you just don't... 
You don't want. You know what I mean? So I'm probably gonna cut this thing. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> the lean doesn't mind you. It's a, it's a really nice little wedge banger, friends, this one. Horses everywhere. Yeah, that's right. Okay, friends, here we are. So so we're here, we, we, we're we set up. And uh, I got my GoPro out there where I think the tree's gonna land pretty much. I'm gonna run out there and turn it on when I, after I get the undercutting, because this tree's leaning. The first one's leaning, it's going where it's going. But the thing is, is I gotta put it right beside that fence post because we got a structure there. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We all know this, but I mean, they're just, they're dinky things but but still i always try and do my best friends you know what i mean i always try and do my best the, the, you're still five miles ahead on this job by following even if you tickled that shed to fix up a little thing then you are to climb this thing and, and charge for climbing so he's got the space so that's our plan here this one big one this is the ugly one here this is actually right ugly i'm almost thinking of putting these down together <laughs> it's not pretty friends it's leaning on the house Big side lean. Actually, it's it's leaning back, to be honest with you. It's leaning back over here. Look at it. You see, so I wonder if I shan't do that, actually. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of grafting going on, though. I should probably just get this thing out of the way. Yeah. That's what I'll do. And I'll just deal with this. Deal with it as a single. Dude, it'll be too much going on. you got to stay with the stumps on these. You know what I mean, friends? I gotta stay on the stumps. I can't have two trees going down at once in this case because I gotta thread the needle there and I gotta thread it here. So it's gotta be one at a time. But that was a thought. Okay. Let's do this. Yep, yep. I'm gonna send this one down the fence line first. Let's do it. Where's my axe? Not that I need it on this one. See if we can get this power saw to fire up. This been funny, this thing, lately. Not today, though. But the choke kicks off every time I fire it. Not that time. There it goes. There we go, friends. It's a funny old saw, this one. That's better. 
Bullseye! Oh, I did actually. I nailed it. I think I actually drilled it. Oh dear lord. Oh god, did I ever. I killed it. I think I just wrecked my camera. It's taller than I thought. I killed it. If that camera's alive, I I'm... Yeah, I did. I crushed it. That's a shame. Good thing I just got another one. Oh no, it's, it's gone. Yeah, I pounded it. I dead centered it. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> it was taller than I thought. I killed it. If that camera's alive, I I'm... No, it's done. No, it's done. Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh, and it's gone! <laughs> That's deadly! Oh, I must have nailed you guys with the brush. Okay, so I was a little bit to the left. Oh, that's good. Uh, hey, 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 hey! What? <laughs> that's tall, boy. Holy cow! Okay, I'll shut you off. You too. Listen to that 394. Okay, friends. So that came out like a dream. Like, look at this rickety little thing. Like, I couldn't... I couldn't even hit it big with limbs. It would have pushed it over with the limbs. Look at it. It's rickety. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just... So I had to be bang on. And it, and it came out good. Mind you, my stunt. So it's no big deal. But it would have been nicer to make a nicer stump Because I'm a bloody perfectionist. You know what I'm talking about? Brian Floyd. You know what I mean? Tim Dater knows. How are you friends? All my friends. I, I love you people. This is a cool thing, friends, that we're doing. It is. This feels special to me. I don't know why, but it does. It feels special. It feels like the timing is right for everybody on this. I don't know what it is. I'm not talking about me, friends. I'm not. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the bigger picture. You can think I'm spooky and goofy and weird and ooga booga, but no, no. You see, you watch. You watch. The world is getting better. It's getting better because we say it is. It's that simple. It's better here. You want to live in that? You want to live in, in, oh, the world's in a bad place? You go ahead. Go for it. See how that works for you. But I don't, I don't live there. Okay, we got, a, we, got a, we got a situation. Just downright situation. Here it is. So now that that one's gone, I wish this thing was leaning a little more kind of like, 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 uh, like there's the house. It's actually leaning on the house. I don't know how else to tell you. It's, it is. So look at my stump. Like I'm four inches. Good piece of holding wood, but I'm, I'm like four inches above the... <laughs> But look at the fibers, eh? Still moisture in it. <clears throat> you can feel it. There's still moisture in it. Here's where I came. I watched it. I stayed on the high stump and I cut my corner off because I was going for that, that gate post, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I kept, I stayed on my high side. So that was actually kind of a blessing in a sense, even though it is a little high. So now this is what I got to deal with. Look at this thing, friends. <laughs> Not one limb on the backside, pulling hard bones this way at the house. Ay, 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 ay. I got to cut this thing out of my way, actually. This stump, I gotta get in here. Which shan't take a moment. This power saw is cutting really nice. Like, I mean, really nice. Almost about perfect. I think I gotta get this out of here.
yet. It's goat sand. So I'm almost thinking about shooting low. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, we're, we're not worried about these two things. I'm actually going to shoot for those, to be honest with you. Yep, I am. Because I can guarantee them it's going to go into the weight of those limbs. Without a doubt. are going to wipe the freaking goat pen out. You understand? So I've got to shoot low. We're not worried about these two little poles. That's where it's going, actually. Talk to you in a minute. Well, let's just keep going. About as clean as they come right there friends but there is a there is a situation here okay like you can see here's the undercut okay it's coming right this way let's let's do this watch watch with me here I'm gonna do this watch straight up the tree okay you know what I'm talking about it's all here Okay, it's all right here. It's actually on this birch tree. Here's the house. There's the goats. They're freaking right out. So that's where this thing's going and it's leaning hard here right at me. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I've got enough into the undercut that I can transfer some of the lean in this part of the undercut right here. If I can transfer a bit of this weight and this lean here into this and pour it in here and pour it in here. But here's something that I want to explain to people. This I've run into many, many times. Okay, now this is extremely important in my mind, actually. I'm not joking you. Listen to this now. So really in a situation like this, what would, what would happen usually out in the bush, maybe if it wasn't such a, a haywire lean, is you would, you would come around and cut up your low side. So you'd walk your power, and I will have to do that anyway, but I won't wipe it all out because then it'll sit back and down further. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if once you bring your under, your under, your back cut in around here and you go in way up to here and go to here, you're, you're, this thing's going to cave in on its curve. It just that's what it's going to do. So, I this is where I call pouring. You pour the wood into the undercut. Now this is this is what I mean. So there's the undercut. It's actually a good looking undercut. I might take a chip off of the top of it, just so it keeps traveling. Do you know what I mean? Like a, I take those chips off the top, like about this much, and just snap it off, which I probably will do here. But I talk about pouring, and this is what I mean. I'm going to pour this wood in this way, in this way, like this. Make sure I got wood over there gone. I have to get it. Sooner or later, I have to get it. But if I go get it first, sometimes it, it can fall back on you further, and you don't want that. So come in even really is what you want on this particular tree, is come in even and watch the tree. Don't watch your curve. Don't watch the curve, friends. Look up. Watch what your foliage is doing in the situation. If it starts moving, that means it's giving you uh, giving you some talk, saying, keep that coming. Give me some more of that. So it's really important to, to, to keep an eye on the crown, not your kerf. I, I get lazy once in a while watching my kerf too, but it's just not a good not, not a good habit to get into. Over and out. Okay, here we come. I got my other GoPro down there. It's gonna get nailed. That's way too close, Dave. Oh, it's way too close, Davey. <laughs> okay, let's do this. See how we make out. Oh, <laughs> 
totally cut up. I'm talking about. Oh, there goes my power saw. Probably broke a mount. Not as dramatic as the last one, eh, friends? Hey, <laughs> what's that thing? <laughs> that was nice. It hung on the stump really nice. That's what I'm talking about. Don't run away from your stump. Oops, you guys still on? Yeah. Don't, don't run away from your stump. Like I
right? It, the, I had to stick with that thing and cut all the high wood off. It was going towards the structure. But I wanted that. I wanted it off the birch tree and I wanted it off this freaking goat pen. So if I had a shot, if I had a shot for any closer, like in between or over there, we'd have freaking lost it. We'd have smashed this whole piece out of here. We're literally three feet from this goat pen, friends, and there the other little buggers are. So, so you see what I mean? That you gotta stick with the stump on these ones. Stick with it, just hang in there. Look up, look, look where it's going, hang out, watch the fall for a good three seconds. Like one, two, three, make sure, and, look, and then look out, go, okay, actually, I gotta, I gotta cut some of this wood off and start going. I cut that whole high side off because it was going for that structure. Right? Because I wanted to save this. So it's it's just every every little situation is different. So just hang in there, hang in there on the stumps. Stick with the stump. Moving up. Now the t-shirt, friends. Stick with the stump. <laughs> yes. They're the easiest ones to get high marks for. Yeah, that's good thinking. That's real good thinking. I need it right. That's what I want. And it was all part of because I had bought them, right? Got it, yeah. <laughs> but there's a living and hard work. That's it.
Skitter, look what he's doing. He's freaking, he's limbing it. That animal is limbing that tree. He could literally just go along and limb it. You should send him after it. Like, listen to him, he's busting stuff up. He's a monster. I'm gonna measure this tree. 125, racing.
That's a long bar, but it's the only saw I got that's sharp right now. Thank <laughs> you. 